Hello everyone, I am Umair and you are watching Chemistry Guides. This video is part 4 of the topic detection and measurement of radioactivity and in this video we will discuss about Wilson's cloud chamber. What is Wilson clouds chamber? It is a chamber cloud chamber which is for the observation of tracks of charged particles. If we talk about the principle of Wilson's cloud chamber, it is that when a gas containing vapors at saturation pressure is expanded suddenly, it gets cooled and and becomes super saturated. Further, in the presence of dust particles, the droplets are formed around the dust particles. If we talk about dust free environment, condensation could be produced on a negative ion present in the gas, and expansion of a gas is made 1.31 to 1.4 times its volume. Next, we will talk about the construction of cloud chamber, the parts of cloud chamber. So, cloud chamber consists of a cylindrical glass chamber C. Further, it is provided by with a glass plate cover and a perforated metal plate base the metal plate is covered by the perforated metal plate is covered by velvet cloth V and water is sprinkled on velvet cloth to provide water vapors to saturate the air in the chamber C the rubber diaphragm D it forms a airtight seal between the chamber C and space S while A is an evacuated container it is kept closed by a its piston P. Next, if we talk about the working of Wilson's cloud chamber. So, when a piston P is withdrawn, it is withdrawn, the space S is connected to the container A. The pressure S, the pressure in the space S is suddenly fall. This pulls down the diaphragm D and the air in the chamber C undergoes expansion. As the diaphragm goes downwards, the chamber expands and the air in the chamber also goes expansion. And after expansion, the container A is closed by a piston P and air is slowly admitted into the space as through a small valve V. So by this the diaphragm R goes to its original position upward and the pressure in the chamber C reverts to its original value. So the expansion is reverted by pressure straight. And the second perforated plate which is kept below the diaphragm D it is for the adjustment of expansion ratio of diaphragm. Further the water droplets are condensed on charged ions. The chamber C is illuminated and tracks can be viewed through the top glass plate and photograph. After that, a potential difference is adjusted to 100 volts so that the electric field can sweep all the ions from the chamber C so that the chamber is then made ready for next operation. Further, we talk about the two particles, alpha particles and beta particles. Alpha particles ionize to a large extent and form thick tracks while beta particles are ionized to less extent and form thin tracks. So Wilson cloud chamber has many demerits like it is not practically practicable to build cloud chamber large enough to show the entire path of an extremely high energy particle. So it is very small chamber not able to show the entire path it shows only some of the path. But the high energy bubble chamber or photographic emulsions have to be used to observe that track. So they, it is not available in the Wilson cloud chamber so we were we are not easily ready to observe the track and the cloud chamber is less sensitive as the duration of super saturation is of the order of one percent it means that the diaphragm goes down and then goes up when the diaph diaphragm goes down it causes expansion and super saturation and then diaphragm goes up so this super saturation is of the order of one second this is its demerit